Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Responsive Helper and today I have an update that I think everyone is going to freak out about. It is custom breakpoints and visual builder support for the text settings. So two big features, let me show you those real quick. All right, so this is version 2.5. Now we've had various updates since 2.4 and I always cover all of those, you know, the main things in the next like version number. So this is 2.5. I'm going to talk about two main features, the custom breakpoint feature. Okay. So in Divi, there are multiple breakpoints, but the main ones are at 981 pixels. So that's where it changes from tablet to desktop. I mean, we can show you that. Okay. So I'm going to this example layout. I just imported a layout from Divi. I also added a gallery because I wanted something to demonstrate this. So I added a gallery right here. So watch this. I'm going to put this screen size. I'm going to show you the mobile one. So at around 767. Think, okay, so here's a gallery. So I'm on the phone size because I'm at below 767, right? So watch this. I'm going to go up and change it to 768. Right there, it moves the tablet, right? You can change that breakpoint. Now for the next example, I'll go to the next breakpoint tablet the desktop so it's at 981 so here i'm at 979 980 981 it's the whole layout shifted everywhere so it changed how high it was here there you go then it's the the desktop all right um, another example would be at the very top you can see the menu so that's the desktop menu now watch this i'm going to go down to 980 all right so now it's the hamburger menu which you know we're all familiar with okay let's say you wanted to change that one of the biggest requests I've gotten over the years is I think iPads are like 1024 or something like that. So watch this, go into uh, Divi theme options, Divi responsive helper. We have this new custom breakpoints tab. So watch this change desktop breakpoint. So it's normally 981. Let's change it to 1024. Um, let's change this phone to like uh, 420. I checked and like most phones are less than that. So, That'll work good. All right, so there you can see those. Now let's refresh this page. All right, so here I'm at 980, so I'll go to 981 and nothing happens. But if I go up to, go all the way up here to 1024, I'm at 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's where it changed. And my other example, the gallery, so I'll go down to 1023. <laughs> It's back to three columns. So normally at 767 is where that changed. You can see it does not change there anymore. Um, it's maintaining like the, the tablet size. And I think there's actually going to be a built-in breakpoint. Let me see. 480 and 479. Okay, so we need to, I think we need to add another one for that. Certain modules are going to be at um, they're gonna have like different default breakpoints. The 767 is usually the main one, but when you get to certain sizes, there's also another one. It's confusing. Um, I'm gonna take care of that and get that one added as well. And, and any others, let me know. So um, the main point is that it will work for like the majority of everything at 767, which we added. There are certain modules like that. So anyway, long story short, we're making progress. We're gonna add a few more here. So the main thing is that that desktop breakpoint is working and we'll check into these others. Okay, so the next thing and kind of goes along, I mean, it's right along with this responsive thing on different sizes, setting different hex size per device. Now we've had this feature a really long time. What we were never able to achieve before is visual builder support and we found a way to do it. And what I mean by that is here. So if I go to typography, um, let's here's a, here's the example I had in the blog post. I have the H2 heading set to 36. I have paragraphs set to 18. When I open the Visual Builder here, in the past it showed whatever like the default font was, um, the size. Now it will show what we have set in those settings. It, it did not do that before. So I have an H2 example right here. So this is um, an H2 I can show you. 
to heading two. See that heading two, and then it's set to um, not have any text size. Again, it works the same as before. If I override this, then that takes priority. See that? If you leave it go, it'll take the priority of our plugin. So that is set. Um, the other example right here, this text, right? This text is, uh, well, I don't think it's set. Yeah, 14 is the default, okay. So watch this, if I change some of those, and I'll change this to like a crazy number, just so you can see it. Uh, heading to, let's change that to like 60 some. Okay, so I made them crazy numbers. I'm going to refresh and show you those examples. There it is, so there's that text. Now that's showing it at 38 or something. And wait, where was the other one? Here, that, that's showing bigger too. So that's so nice. Like now when you're working, you can actually see the size that you have set. We applied the same thing in Divi Assistant as well, where you have a lot more settings. Um, but we're excited that we could finally get this added. It's one of the most requested things. Actually, both of these are. And there were other things that we changed along the way since 2.4, lots of improvements. Um, you can always read them on the change log if you want. So yeah, let us know what you wanna see next. All right, so I hope you enjoy this little update. Um, some big things in there. And if you do, um, definitely let us know. Give us a review and all that. We appreciate it. And we'll see you in our next update.